Hello Duelists! Russ Mero here and today we are going to be opening the Link Vrain's Duelist set. In a nutshell, this is a nifty little box firstly containing a couple of new exclusive cards in this Link Vrain special pack over here and it's really awesome seeing all of the main duelists of Vrain's being featured on the card packaging artwork just like that. Uh, here's the back, uh, pretty simple, just the whole Vrains and Link Summon animation. And here we have another pack, which is a deck enhancement pack, which you guys should be used to seeing by now with all of the recent structure decks. And this one basically just contains reprints. So we'll put that aside. And finally, we've got some uh, Duelist accessories and merch as well. Starting with a field center card. There are six different designs in total for this one. So hopefully we get some of the cool ones. I think there's one that's like for Revolver and actually features the head of Borrelow Dragon in the middle. And I think I really like that one if I manage to pull it. And finally, we've got a pack of sleeves as well. And for this one, there are three designs. And I think there's one where the one I really want actually has all of the duelists featured, like something similar to the packaging on, sorry, on this pack as well. So I really hope I get that one. So let's do this in order, starting with the brand new cards in the Link Vrains special pack. And I believe there are 10 in total if I'm not wrong. Okay, it's packaged slightly differently from our usual pack, so I decided to tear by the side and use a pair of scissors to cut the top off to be safe just in case. Don't want to damage all of these awesome looking cards. So hopefully, yes, it's auto-focusing for you guys right there. This is our very first card code exporter in ultra rare and so all of these 10 cards right nine of them will be ultra rare and one of them will become secret rare and which one it is will actually be random depending on the box you get instead of reading out all of your effects in full i'm just going to briefly summarize what each card can do so this video doesn't get too long so design wise similar to code generator and code radiator code exporter is sort of like a code pet or familiar or companion counterpart to one of the code talkers and in this case since it is the green and win attribute one it's sort of like the counterpart companion to x code talker of course this is a new support card for code talkers if you link summon a code talker monster you can use this card from your hand as link material and if you use it as material to link summon a code talker you get to recycle a level 4 or lower cybers monster from your graveyard as well so all around very nice support for bringing out your code talker monsters and and up next, we have another Cybers monster, Brute Enforcer, and this is a Link 2. To Link summon this guy, you'll need two effect monsters. So Brute Enforcer lets you discard one card to target one face-up card on your opponent's field and destroy it. However, your opponent is allowed to discard one card of the same type in order to negate the destruction. So for example, if you target one of his monsters, he can discard a monster from his hand to negate the destruction. And basically the same applies for spells and traps as well. So these are the first two cards in this pack probably for Yusaku or Playmaker. And oh man, this is an awesome looking rank for right here. And just looking at the design alone, I'm sure you guys can guess that this is a brand new Salaman Great Monster, Blaze Dragon. Blaze Dragon will require two level 4 monsters to exceed summon, and this is the really cool part. You know how Salaman Great is all about that reincarnation link summoning? Blaze Dragon is actually all about reincarnation exceed summoning. Basically, if you exceed summon Blaze Dragon with Blaze Dragon as material, you get to destroy one of your opponent's monsters. But how does this actually happen? During the battle phase, if this card has no material, you can exceed summon a Salaman Great exceed monster from your extra deck using this card as exceed material. So basically, that's how you actually reincarnation exceed summon from itself into itself. But how do you get rid of those materials? Blaze Dragon can prevent its own destruction by detaching one Xyz material, whether it's by battle or effect destruction. So it is pretty uh, sturdy as a monster as well, adding on to that reincarnation effect and hold on. We have just chanced upon the secret rare out of the 10 cards we are getting in this set and oh yeah, it is gonna be for Revolver which is definitely my most favorite Vrains character and this is Bayonet Punisher. Sort of like a special finishing move for Boral Sword Dragon and it is a quick play magic. Basically, this card has devastating banishing effects depending on the amount of different types of Boral monsters you have on the field or in the graveyard. And by types, I mean like Link, 
fusion, exceeds, or synchro. For example, if you have a Boral fusion type monster, that allows you to banish one monster your opponent controls. So basically, each type corresponds to a different banishing effect, and the more you have, the more of these effects you can trigger when you activate this card. So basically, this card just rewards you for being able to summon all of the different kinds of Boral monsters. Very nice. And going back to Ultra Rares, next we have Trickstar Fest. This card allows you to special summon two Trickstar tokens, so essentially just helping you to accelerate the materials for Link summoning. But of course, there has to be a drawback, right? During the turn you activate this card, you can only summon Trickstar monsters. You can also banish it from the grave to prevent the destruction of one of your Trickstar monsters that was special summoned from the extra deck. So moving on, we are continuing on with Blue Angel or Blue Girl now, and this is Marine Says Pascal. Similar to Trickstar Fest, this is also for accelerating Link materials. When Pascals is summoned, you can special summon another Marine Cess monster from your deck in defense position. Pascals can also be banished from the grave to recycle one of your Marine Cess spells or traps. And now looks like we are going on to Go Onizuka, starting off with Goki Finish Hole. Now this is a really looking, this is a really epic looking card. I gotta say, like the more I look at it, the more awesome it just looks. Like all of you guys can just appreciate this awesome Goki artwork right here, right? By targeting one Goki Link monster you control, it gains attack equal to its Link markers times one thousand. Dude, so at the very minimum, that's a 1000 plus already, which is really awesome. And if you have a Link 4 or Link 3 Goki, the boost is just gonna be insane. Not only that, it also gains piercing. This Now this kind of finishing move, I like. But of course, after you activate it, you can only attack with Goki monsters until the end of the turn. But I mean, if you're playing a Goki deck, I don't think that's much of a problem. Just like with the uh, Trickstar card we saw just now. And now we have, yeah, Dino Wrestlers here. Dino Wrestler Iguano Draka. Firstly, it's designed to help you gain materials for Link Summoning as well. By discarding one dinosaur monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. It also allows you to tribute a dinosaur monster to special summon a Dino Wrestler with a different name from your graveyard in defense position, allowing you, allowing you to basically assemble the Dino Wrestler monsters that you need in order to further your plays. But of course, do take note that since it has to be in defense position, you can't use this, you can't really ab you can't abuse this effect, I mean, in order to bring out your Dino Wrestler Link monsters. So there we go, a pretty simple effective card I feel. And next we have Alter Geist, a continuous trap. Alter Geist fail over. If another card you control is destroyed by your opponent's card effect, you can special summon one Alter Geist monster from your hand. So I mean that's basically just gonna help to maintain your field presence and accumulate materials for Link Summon as well. Of course, I don't think I need to say that this is a once per turn effect, so obviously you can't abuse it. You can also banish this card from your grave to recycle one Alter Geist monster. And finally, I think this is the last one, and here we have a card from Blue Angel's older brother, Zaizen Akira, Tindangle Jirelf. Now just looking at this card by itself, isn't that a cute Cerberus right there? Just that he's being contained inside this, uh, I don't know, this, this Emerald Prism. So of course, this is a flip monster, and when it's flipped, you can search your deck for another flip monster, and either add it to your hand or send it to the grave. While Jirelf is in your hand, you can discard one other card, Send one other Tin Dangle card from your deck to the grave and then special summon Jirelf in face down defense position and that basically prepares him and prepares you to receive that search for another flip monster next turn as well once the opponent triggers that flip. So yes, that will be the last card. So these are the 10 new cards that we are getting from this Link Vrain special pack. On a whole, I can't, I think I'm quite happy with all of the cards here. Like, what I particularly like about them is that I don't think any of them are like super OP or like really broken in the sense that they are really gonna like push their deck all the way to the top of the meta and make it way stronger than it currently is. More like they just add like, either they add a little push to the deck's current strategies or add new ways for them to actually be played. And because there's one for each type of deck, it actually kind of evens out the, the playing field in a sort of sense and I really like that. Still, really really happy about my secret rare Bayonet Punisher. So there we have it, the 10 new cards in this uh, Link Brains Duelist set. Now we are going to move on to this deck enhancement pack to check out the reprints. Oh man, I didn't look at the list beforehand so all of these are gonna be surprises for me but I just took a glimpse of the first one and it is a card that has caused me so much suffering. Uh, let me just open up the bottom a bit. And here we go, it looks like all of them are actually gonna be in super rare, yes. And starting off, we have Trickstar Reincarnation, the Bane of 
anybody who's ever gone up against the, the original Trickstar Effect Damage deck. Dino Wrestler Sistego, okay. And Salaman Great Sanctuary, the all-important field spell that allows you to perform your reincarnation link summons. A uh, Marine says Coral Anemone. Not sure why they wanted to reprint this one, but I guess there's one for each uh, deck as well. Here we have Dot Scaper. Pretty oh, wait, that is all? Oh wow, how many was that? One, two, three, four, five reprints. If I am not wrong, there is actually a greater variety that you can actually obtain. Like, if I'm not wrong, I heard some people are getting Boral Sword as well. There's probably one to reflect each archetype. So, these are the five that we managed to get. So, I mean, nothing too amazing, but Trickstar Reincarnation is pretty sick. So, we're just gonna leave that on the front as we put it down. And the next thing we're gonna look at, let's go for the sleeves first. So I just checked the three different designs for the card sleeves and I'll just put them to the side somewhere so you guys can see them too. And I think the one that I really like the most and the one I want to get is the one on the extreme right. The one where we have like Yusaku or Playmaker standing to the left and the rest of all the mains, the main Vrains duelists together on the right in their own colours looking really awesome just like that. Like really summing up the essence of the Vrains era just like that looking super awesome. And then my second choice would probably be the one with the monsters with the code soccer in the center and borrow sword drug bor I mean borrow load dragon as well. And the one that appeals to me the least but still looks really good would be the one featuring Ghost Girl and Blue Maiden. But actually that wouldn't be a bad pull as well because I actually heard from my supplier earlier that it's actually worth quite a lot. So I am just gonna open this up and let's see which sleeves we get. Alright, this from this side we still can't see what it's gonna be. Should we like turn everything at the same time or just flip open the first one. I think we're just gonna flip open the first one, alright. Are you guys ready? Here's hoping for the Yusaku Duelist sleeves. Oh, it's not, but I can still deal with this. So, looks like, yes, the sleeve we actually managed to get in the end is going to be the one featuring the three key ace monsters of the series right now, I would feel Borrow Sword, I mean Borrow Load, keep mixing it up, Borrow Load Dragon, Decode Soccer, and Salamand Great Heat Leo as well. Unfortunately, these are our, these are their, for Decode Soccer and Borrow Load, I think these are the new artworks, the second artworks that actually came out in the Link Vrains Duelist box in December last year, which is a bit of a shame because I would, I actually like their original artworks much more than these secondary ones, but. There we go, that's the first thing that we've got, the sleeves, and finally for our last piece of merch, it's going to be the field center card. So for this one, we have six different designs, and I'm just going to put them to the side so you guys can see them again. I think the one I really want to get the most is the one with like, the Boral Load Dragon head slightly towards the left. And then it has like that pick that image of a revolver chamber directly behind him, looking super epic. But anyway, let's open this one up and see what we get. You guys ready? Here we go! Oh, wait a minute. Wait, are you guys seeing this right now? It's, it's translucent, right? Holy shit! Wait a minute, this looks so good. Wait, I thought I was expecting it just to be like a piece of opaque. I mean, cardboard, like a normal card, right? But... This is like some translucent design plastic. It looks so nice and oh my god, now I really want to actually maybe go out and look in the market and try to get the rest just to see what they look like because this looks so awesome. Like, I was thinking like, you know, the design of I and Link Kuribo wasn't that nice on this one. Like, I, I don't really recognize this as I anymore. I only recognize the new version of I. Yeah, in the season, the third season, but this looks so good. Like, with <laughs> Just check out how cute Link Kuribo is with like him looking in all those different angles in the background as well and the field sensor card, the field sensor card, all the text foiled up in gold and embossed right on the sides like that. Uh, this actually says, oh, extra monster zone pointing to the right and here should be extra monster zone pointing to the left. So, wow, this looks amazing. So that'll be all for this Link Brains Duelist set opening. On a whole, I think it was really worth it purchasing this for all the new cards and all the cool merch such as the exclusive sleeves and especially this field sensor card looking really nice with the translucent plastic as well. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like. Let me know what you guys think about this set in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG booster box and product openings on the day of release. Our next release will be on September 14th. And for you guys who play the English TCG, it probably won't be that interesting for you guys because it's going to be Extra Pack 2019, which is the set that brings all of the... US exclusive cards over to the Japanese OCG. And with that, 
Hope to see you guys in the next Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Shh. Let's go and look ahead. Our chance encounter.